and uh, we have this growing figure that only 56% of Namibians uh, prefer democracy to any other system. And that's down from 76% in 2014. Um, so clearly, uh, at the moment, in the situation we find ourselves in now, um, many Namibians do not feel that democracy is working for them. Um, and over the same time period, um, the Afrobarometer uh, results tell us that um, Namibians are also losing uh, their trust in, in many key public institutions. And obviously these two things are interrelated. Um, so just looking at those figures, there appears to be a disconnect between the freedom that Namibians feel that they have in the sense that they can say, they feel they can say what they want. And to be honest, if you look at social media, you, you will see that because there's a huge number of uh, critical comments um, around a whole range of issues, although, you know, not always that well informed, which is another challenge for us. Um, but there does seem to be a disconnect between the freedom that Namibians feel and then also their disappointment and frustration that democracy is not actually delivering what they want, the progress that they want to see. And to, today, in a sense, the purpose of this conference is to look more deeply at that disconnect and what, why it is there. Uh, why are Namibians losing their faith in democracy uh, and, and their trust in, in, in public institutions? And perhaps more importantly, um, the follow-up question, which is, what can we do um, from our various backgrounds uh, and in our various organizations to try and arrest and reverse these trends uh, and, and to boost democracy in Namibia? And today's conference offers an opportunity to discuss these issues and to look at possible ways forward, um, looking at systems, processes and institutions. Uh, that's one of our sessions this morning. Um, the role of the youth, uh, we'll have a, a very exciting youth panel this afternoon, which uh, the Namibia Media Trust has assisted with setting up. Uh, we'll be discussing the relevance of the media, um, and, and also we'll be looking later this morning at the role of, uh, of civil society and, and the health of civil society in Namibia. Um, so just, to, you will see this conference isn't the usual, um, if you like, safari type event in the sense that we don't have ministers and, uh, you know, very VIP uh, politicians and so on um, here, um, or at least others on the platform, um, are not many of them. So, um, I think part of the idea behind this was uh, to make sure that uh, we follow the old adage or cliche that the politics is, is, is too important to be left to the politicians alone, and that every section and segment of Namibian society needs to be involved and discussing and engaged with the issues we're discussing today and the solutions that we can find to our, our, our problems. So I, I will end my remarks on that, on that note, but I'm really looking forward to exciting uh, discussions. Um, we have a number of panels, but we'll try to open up the discussion as much as possible for points, questions and so on on the floor during each session. So. Uh, please do engage with us, and we'll try to involve the online audience as much as possible as well. Um, so again, just uh, thanks to everybody for coming, and uh, look forward to an exciting, engaging day. Thank you. Good morning, distinguished participants. It's an honor to be here. Um, as introduced, I am the um, Ambassador uh, accredited to Namibia, Glenn Hagenen is my name. Uh, I arrived last September, so I'm um, fairly new in Namibia, uh, still learning to know this unique country and, and its people. Finland, however, has been present in Namibia for 153 years. Ever since some missionaries arrived here in 1869 uh, and it settled in the northern parts of the country, then throughout uh, the independence struggle some hundred years later, and in partnership with independent Namibia through the past 32 years until today. The principles of democracy were already part of the missionaries' approach through church elections, 
and discussions on good governance. But the experience of supporting Namibia gain independence cemented the importance of helping others achieve the stability of a strong democracy. At the time of independence, many Finns wanted nothing more than to see their beloved Namibia emerge as an independent country, building its future on those values of democracy, equality, and human rights. Many of Namibia's leaders were educated by Finns or in Finland, which has further strengthened the long-lasting close relationship and mutual values that we share. In a democratic, a democratic society, its citizens can exercise their human rights and demand that they are respected. As one of the most democratic societies in the world, Finland's value base is built on the concept of a strong democracy and rule of law. Finland's foreign and security policy is human rights based and emphasizes a rules-based international order and strong multilateral collaboration. Finland's development policy provides the mandate and in fact an obligation to support other nations to strengthen their commitment to democracy, rule of law and the protection of human rights. Today, there are many success stories in terms of strengthening democracy around the world, but also many threats to stability and the space of civil society. For example, Finland has been observing Russia's attack on Ukraine with great concern, as this unprovoked war of aggression undermines every rule of sovereignty and democracy that are agreed upon in international law. These kinds of situations call for an even greater scrutiny on the values that create stable and peaceful democracies and urge us to do our utmost best to protect those values. It is also the reason why it is important to take stock of where the state of democracy is in our country and how we can further strengthen it. It is not something that should be taken for granted, as there are many factors that can weaken the democratic system. One of the most important ways to strengthen democracy is to educate people to create awareness and spread knowledge about the democratic practices are crucial in order for citizens to uphold their rights and to contribute to the creating of to creating and sustaining democracy for finland accessible education has been the most important means of ensuring equality and inclusion it has been the longest standing priority sector of collaboration between our two countries in society. Can democracy flourish? This is what the embassy has also appreciated about the work of IPPR strengthening the knowledge of the Namibian society about the state of its democracy. In the Finnish report on development policy across parliamentary terms, which guides all Finnish development work, the role of civil society and civil society organizations, uh, CSOs, is highlighted as providing the foundation of democracy. CSOs also promote other values that inherently strengthen democracy, such as human rights and non-discrimination, gender equality, freedom of speech and free civil society, sustainable market economy, and the sustainable use of natural resources. The Embassy of Finland in Namibia has a funding instrument called the Fund for Local Cooperation, which currently supports IPPR's democracy project, report project. 
Since the end of Finland's bilateral development cooperation with Namibia in 2007, the Fund for Local Cooperation has been our only means of supporting civil society, and through that, the strengthening of democracy. The basis of our funding derives from the Finnish development policy priorities, which means that all funded projects must have a human rights approach and ensure non-discrimination. Thus, for many years, this has been the most concrete way that Finland is contributing to strengthening democracy and supporting civil society in Namibia. And I hope that we will be able to continue this work with Namibian civil society for many years to come, alongside promoting collaboration and partnerships in business and education. To conclude, I want to commend the work of IPPR and to thank you for having me here today and wish you, a fruit, uh, wish you fruitful deliberations during the course of this day. Thank you very much.